Hi everyone, welcome back to First the Copy Crochet. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to make a crochet bag holder. The finished size of this bag holder when it's laid flat is 16 inches long by 7 inches wide and it does expand as you fill it up with bags. It has a hole in the bottom of it to allow you to pull out bags one by one as you need them and you can fill it up from the top of the bag. It has a ring on the top where you can hang it from a hook. So to make this bag holder, you're going to need 210 yards of a medium weight cotton yarn, or you can use acrylic if you would like. You'll also need a 5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle to weave in your ends, a pair of scissors, and some stitch markers to help keep track of your first and last stitches. This pattern is in U.S. terms, and the pattern is worked in the round all in one piece. Your initial stitch at the start of the round does not count as a stitch. And as always, there is a written version of this pattern available on my website, and I will leave a link for that down in the description below. Okay, to start out, you'll want to create a chain of 20, and this will be the base of our bag holder. Once you've completed the foundation chain, all you're going to do is join the last chain and the first chain with a slip stitch. Okay, so you don't have to make sure you didn't turn this or anything before you joined it. Okay, so to start round one, you'll chain one, and we'll be going into this ring. So you'll be doing 30 half double crochets all the way around. So just yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. You can go ahead and just crochet around this tail as you go around. So we're just going to do 30 of these all the way around this ring. It's a good idea once you get to 15, which is your halfway point, to just take these and push them back where they are about halfway. And then once you've gone all the way around, go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch to join the round. Now for round two, you're going to chain one, and this is going to be an increasing round. So starting in this first stitch, I'm going to do a half double crochet. And then in the next stitch here, we're going to do two half double crochets. And then in the following stitch, we do one. And then in the next stitch, two. So you're just going to follow this all the way around. One half double crochet and then two half double crochets in a stitch. And the last stitch of the row should be two double crochets. And this will increase your round by 15, so you'll have 45 stitches in round two. Now, if you have a hard time distinguishing the last and first stitch of your rounds, this is a good place to use stitch markers. Once you do your last stitch, put an end to that. So at the end of round two, just go ahead and slip stitch your first 
and last stitch together. Okay, for rounds three and four, they're both just going to be half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So to start out, you just chain one, and then starting in the first stitch, just do a half double crochet, and then do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And that's for this round, round three, and the same thing is done in round four. And you should have 45 stitches in each round. At the ends of rounds three and four, you'll join your last stitch in your first stitch with a slip stitch. Now for round five, we'll start by chaining one. This is another increasing row. So what we'll be doing with round five is we're going to do a half double crochet in two stitches and then two half double crochets in one stitch. And you'll do that a total of 15 times around and it'll give you 15 extra stitches in this round. So you'll be up to a total of 60 stitches. So we'll do a half double crochet in this first stitch. And go ahead and mark that first stitch just so we have that as a reference. And then we'll do a half double crochet in the second stitch. And then in this third stitch, we're going to do two half double crochets. So now we repeat that. Do a half double crochet in one. A half double crochet in the next. And then two half double crochets. So just repeat that all the way around. Two one half double crochets and then two half double crochets. Okay, so when you come into the end of round five, just like the previous increase round, your last stitch of the round will be the two half double crochets. And like the previous rounds, go ahead and join your last and first stitch using a slip stitch. Now for round six and seven, they're just going to be half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So both rounds will have 60 stitches in them. You'll start by chaining one in the round. And then in that first stitch, do a half double crochet. And then just do a half double crochet all the way around. And when you get to the end of the round, go ahead and join as you previously did with a slip stitch. And you'll do the same thing for round seven, just a half double crochet in each stitch. So at the end of round seven, I'm going to go ahead and join these with a slip stitch. So rounds eight through 13 are going to be the main repeat that you're going to do for most of this pattern. Okay, so round eight, we're going to start with chaining one, and we'll be starting in this first stitch again, and this is where we're going to do the sedge stitch. So with this stitch, what we'll be doing is we'll be doing a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet all in one stitch, starting in this first one. Then we skip two, and then we do all three stitches again in the third stitch. So that's a single crochet here. Go ahead and mark that, the marker, so you know which is the first stitch. Then a half double crochet into that first stitch. And then a double crochet. So you yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. So now we'll skip these two stitches, and then in this stitch here, we're going to do that all over again. 
the single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. Then skip two stitches again, and then do another cluster here. So you'll just repeat this all the way around, skipping two, and then a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. Now doing that all the way around, you're going to have a total of 20 of these sedge stitches. So we've done four here, you'll have 16 more to do. When we get to the end, you'll be doing the last one in this one, and then you'll be skipping these two. So the last part of this row, you skip these last two stitches, and you join this last one with the first one using a slip stitch. Now since each of these are three stitches, since you have 20 of these little clusters, that'll be a total of 60 stitches again. So for round nine, we'll chain one, and this is where we start going into the mesh. So we'll start in this first stitch and go ahead and do a single crochet in that. And then mark that so you can see that when you come back around. Now what we'll be doing for this round is you chain four, skip two stitches, and then single crochet into the next stitch there. So you'll be single crocheting into the single crochet of the set stitch. So chain four again, skip two stitches, and then single crochet. Then chain four, skip two stitches, and single crochet. Do this all the way around, and you'll have 20 of these little chains. So once you've done the last chain four of the round, go ahead and slip stitch into the first single crochet to join the last chain and that stitch. For rounds 10 and 11, they both are the same, so to start out, you'll slip stitch into this first chain space here, and then you're going to do one single crochet into that chain space. This will count as your first stitch of the row. So go ahead and put your marker on that so you know where to join when you come back around. And now you just chain four. And then do a single crochet into the next chain space. And then chain four again. And then just single crochet into the chain space. And you'll just do this all the way around. Okay, and just to show you the end of round 10. Once you've done the last chain four, again, this first single crochet that you made, go ahead and join that with a slip stitch. Okay, then for round 11, just like you did in round 10, slip stitch into that chain space, then single crochet, and that will count as your first stitch. And then just chain four and single crochet into each chain space all the way around. Okay, so for the end of round 11, just like the end of round 10, we're going to slip stitch our last chain four into the single crochet. So that'll give us three rows of this mesh stitch. Now for round 12, 
what we're going to be doing in this one is three half double crochets in each chain space. So that will be, there's 20 chain spaces with three half double crochets, so that'll be back to 60 stitches all the way around. You'll start by chaining one, and then into this first chain space here, do three half double crochets. Go ahead and mark your first one. So you can find it easily when you come back around. There's two. And there's three. All right, so then you skip the single crochet and just go into doing half double crochets again, three of them in this chain space. Skip the single crochet, just three half double crochets into the chain space. And just do this all the way around. And you'll have 60 half double crochets when you come back around to the front. Okay, so at the end of round 12, after you've done the last three half double crochets in the last chain space, go ahead and do a slip stitch to the first half double crochet. So you can join it. And then you can go ahead and also mark your last half double crochet of this round. Okay, so round 13, this is just going to be half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So you'll again have 60 stitches going around. So to start out, just chain one, and then in this first stitch, do a half double crochet. And then just do a half double crochet in each stitch going all the way around. And at the end of round 13, do your last half double crochet. And then go ahead and join your first and last stitches with a slip stitch. Okay, so that's how you do the main repeat. So the main repeat, round eight, starts with the said stitch, which is the single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. Then it goes into the three rows of mesh, which is your chain four and the single crochet. Then a round of three half double crochets into each chain space, and then a round of half double crochets into each stitch. So we start now at round 14, going back into the said stitch. So starting around 14, you'll start by going back and repeating round 8 through 14. And you're going to do that four more times, so that's going to carry you through to row 37. And I'll meet you back here after round 37. So after you finish round 37, that should give you five sections of the repeat, and you'll have ended on a row of half double crochets. If you wanted to make this bag holder taller, you can go ahead and add more of these sections to it before you continue on. So for round 38, we're just going to go back into doing the sedge stitch here. So just as before, just chain one and starting in this first stitch, do a single crochet. And then a half double crochet. And then a double crochet. Skip two stitches and do that all over again. And you'll do this all the way around and you'll have 20 of these little clusters. At the end of round 38, just go ahead and as before, join this with a slip stitch with your first and last stitches. For round 39, we're going to go ahead and repeat round 13, which is just half double crochets in each stitch all the way across, starting in the first stitch. So we'll chain one and then just go ahead and do a half double crochet into that stitch and then into each stitch all the way around and you'll have a total of 60 stitches in this round. So at the end of row 39, 
go ahead and join your last and first stitch with a slip stitch. For row 40, we're going to go back into doing the sedge stitch. So to start out, in chain one, and then starting in this first stitch, go ahead and do a single crochet and a half double crochet. And then a double crochet. Right, so now we skip two stitches and then in this one we do it all over again single crochet half double crochet and double crochet okay, skip two and then in this one again and we're just going to do this all the way around you'll have 20 of these little clusters which will be three stitches each, so that'll give you a total of 60 stitches. At the end of round 40, when you've done your last set of stitches for the said stitch, go ahead and skip the last two stitches and then join your first and last stitch with a slip stitch. For round 41, we're going to be doing a row of all half double crochets again. So you'll start by chaining one and then in this first stitch we're going to go ahead and do a half double crochet and we'll do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and that'll give you a total of 60 stitches for this round at the end of the round we'll go ahead and join again with a slip stitch Now for the next round, round 42, we're going to be decreasing back down to 45 stitches. So with this row, it's going to be two half double crochets. And then it's going to be a single crochet, two together. So to start out, we'll chain one. And then starting in this first stitch, do a half double crochet. And then do a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we'll do a single crochet two together. So to do that, you'll insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Then insert your hook into the following stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and that'll give you three loops on your hook. Go ahead and pull through all three loops. So that just makes these two stitches into one stitch. Then we do two more half double crochets. And then another single crochet two together. We're just going to do this all the way around. And that'll reduce our stitches by 15 stitches, bringing us down to 45. Just do two half double crochets and then a single crochet two together. At the end of round 42, your last stitch should be a single crochet two together. And then once you finish that up, go ahead and join with your first stitch using a slip stitch. For round 43, we're just going back into doing half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So that'll give you another 45 stitches in that round. So chain one and then starting in this first stitch, do a half double crochet. And then do a half double crochet in each stitch going all the way around. At the end of round 43, go ahead and join the first and last stitch together using a slip stitch. Now we're going to go into making the ring that it'll hang from. So you'll want to chain one. And then we're going to start in this first stitch here and do a single crochet. And we're going to do a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So it's a total of four single crochets. Now go ahead and chain 15. Okay, 
and once you've chained 15, use a slip stitch to join it back to this first single crochet that you did. Okay, and so now chain one and we're just going to go ahead and fill in this ring and you're going to want to do a single crochet 20 times into this ring here so you just insert your hook into the ring and pull up your loop to do your single crochet And after you've done 20 single crochets into that ring, go ahead and do a slip stitch, not into the single crochet, but into the half double crochet in round 42 that's right below your last single crochet. Just go ahead and put your hook into there and do a slip stitch to secure it. And then after that, you can go ahead and tie off and weave in your ends. Thanks for watching and if you like these tutorials please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified as new ones come out.